Hello world, I'm Zeke from Replicate, and today I'm making a short video to show you how to use COG and Replicate to package machine learning models and create interactive demos with them. So first off, what is COG? COG is an open source command line tool that can be used to package machine learning models using Docker. And one of the things that's really great about COG is that it takes care of figuring out things like CUDA versions that are compatible with the version of TensorFlow or PyTorch that you're using with your model. If you ever dealt with this before, you know that that can be a real headache. So what is Replicate? Replicate is a website where people can publish their machine learning models and create interactive demos that anyone can use to run predictions against those models. So what I'm covering here today is mostly documented at replicate.ai slash docs. So if you want to go to that page, you can follow along. Let's talk about the prerequisites for being able to run the demos in this video. So you'll need to be running on Mac OS or Linux. You'll need the Docker installed, Docker desktop, which is pretty easy to install. There's a package installer. You'll need a trained machine learning model, but if you don't have one, we have some examples in our GitHub repository to help you out. And in many cases, you'll need a GPU to train and run your machine learning models. But for the purposes of this demo, we'll be using a simple model that can run on CPU. So before you can create a model, you need to create a replicate account, which is pretty easy. You just sign in and it actually uses a single sign on through GitHub. So all you have to do is click and you'll be signed in. We'll create a user account for you. So we're currently in closed beta. If you want to create models on our site, you'll need to join our Discord or send us an email. Tell us about what you want to do, and we'll send you an invite to jump the queue. So once you've got an account and you've, you're past the wait list, you want to create a model. So we go to the Create a Model page, which is just replicate.ai once you're logged in, and you'll see a button to create a new model. So let's create a model called Hello World. You'll see some instructions here on next steps. So now that we have a model, we actually want to choose what model we want to publish here. So this could be some model that you're already working on that you've already trained. But for our purposes, for this demo, we're going to be looking in the COG examples repo and using the Hello World example there. Next, we need to install the COG command line tool. This is pretty easy. So there's two commands you need to run that'll just download the binary package and make it executable on your machine. And once you've got that, you'll now have a command called cog that you can run with various functions. So we've installed cog. Let's talk about cog in it. So if you already have a machine learning model that's running and you just want to package it with cog, you would use cog in it to set up the appropriate files. So let's say we have a project called my model. If we run, and by default, there's nothing in this directory, but if we run cog in it, that creates two files for us. Let's look at those two files. The first is cog.yaml, and this is a configuration file that describes the dependencies for your model's environment. So in some cases, your model requires a GPU, in some cases not. You can also specify Ubuntu system level packages to install here. You can specify the Python version and any Python packages that are required by your model. Lastly, you can specify a run command to be executed after the environment is set up. And then we've got this predict key here, which is a pointer to the predictor function that you're using in Python. So let's look at predict.py. So predict.py is a, a class that extends this cog.predictor class, and it requires two functions, one for setup, and one for predict. So setup actually loads the model into memory and does some preparatory work. Predict is actually the thing that takes inputs and runs a prediction against your model. An important thing about this file is that you also use it to define the inputs to your model, like images, or numbers, or text. So this is what we see when we run cog in it, but we're actually going to be using an example model that already has its own cog.yaml and predict.py. So let's clone this repo. Let's see where we are on the checklist. Okay, we ran cog in it. Now we want to clone this repo. So let's cd into 
hello world, cog examples hello world. And instead of opening that whole project, we'll just open the hello world model. So we've got those two same files in there, cog.yaml, predict.py. Of course, in, the real, in a real life scenario, this would be a much more complicated project with lots of files and predict.py can be a much more elaborate function with lots of Python imports and a more verbose predict function. But our, for our purposes, we're just demonstrating the very basic requirements of the predict.py. Similarly, we don't have any special system level or Python package dependencies for this demo. So we have a very stripped down cog.yaml here. So let's talk about this image thing. So when you want to push your package model to the replicate registry, this URL refers to that package on the, on the registry. So there are two ways you can push. One is you can just run cog push and specify the model URL here. Alternatively, you can specify the image in your cog.yaml file. And if you do this, then you can actually just run cog push without having to specify the model URL. So before we actually push, let's just look a little bit at what we can do here. So let's try cog run bash. So what this is gonna do is actually build the environment in a Docker container and run a bash shell in the container. So we're actually inside our model now, and I can, I can run things like Python version, and that's the version that we specified in our cog.yaml. I can also just jump right into an interactive Python shell here and run code against my model. So anything that you run with cog run is going to execute that command inside the Docker container. Cog also has a function called predict. So we can run something like input equals Zeek. And let's look a little bit at what this, this predict function is actually gonna do with that. So in this contrived example, we have one input conveniently called input, which is a string. And the output will just be the word hello followed by the string that we provided as input. Pretty basic. So if we run this cog predict with this input, Again, the Docker image will be built, the environment will be run, and our output will be returned. And here we see hello Zeek, as expected. So we set the image, and now let's log in. So in order to be able to push to the replicate registry, we have to authenticate first. So let's run cog login. This will open a browser window, and it'll display my token, which I'll have to change after this screencast. I paste it here and now I'm logged in. So the next thing I want to do is run cog push. This will actually take my model, package it again, and push it to the replicate registry. You see this layer already exists. That means that Docker's already built those a few times and there haven't been any changes since the last time we built. So now if we view our model page, it should look a little different. Now we have the hello world page that's actually loaded our model inferred what the inputs are for that model and the outputs. So now we can actually try the model out on the web page. So if I put in some string here, it loads the server, it runs the prediction, and there's my output. And this doesn't have to be text. Your model could produce videos or audio or images or series of images, all kinds of output. So this is probably the most crude possible example we could show. But once you've got a prediction, if you're the owner, you can actually add it to the example gallery so that when people view your model, they can see examples without having to run predictions. You can also use this link to grab a URL that is a permalink to this specific prediction to share with others. So we viewed the model, we ran some predictions. If you went through this process and you have any questions or things aren't working for you, or you have suggestions on how to improve things, we'd love to hear from you. So please join our Discord or send us an email. And thanks for watching.